question for you. Ask me a question. All right. So in Exodus 21, 20, all the way to 22, right? It says, and if a man beats his male or female servant with a rod, so that he may die. You know the verse already? Yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah, so if he dies under his hand, he shall surely be punished. Notwithstanding, if he remains alive a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his property. What do you think about that? Well, we have to think of it in the context of that day. Sure. Right? So in that day... That was slavery, stuff was going on, right? Sure, yeah. In fact, I'll tell you what, slavery still goes on, right? Does it? Oh, yeah. Where at? Oh, yeah, it's called sex trade, right? That's Sexual slavery. You've heard about that, right? I have, I have, yeah. yeah but, but you would condemn it, right? So if oh, you yeah, beat today. your sex slave to death... Yeah, I think we both agree that slavery is wrong, right? Good, good. I, I mean, mean, we do agree, yes. We, yeah, okay. But back in that day... It was still wrong. But that's how they... There was no welfare, there was no this and that. So then, then slavery is okay so, when there's no welfare? Excuse me. Go ahead. So, when people needed to get a trade, sometimes or they were indebted, they would enslave themselves to somebody until they paid the debt off, right? Okay, but that's okay. wrong, right? It's still wrong, but when the guy... You don't seem wait, too wait, sure. Wait, wait. No, Go ahead. No, no. Please. I'm listening. Okay, so so the guy would earn some money, pay off his debt. Okay, then he might decide, hey, I like this job. You mind if I stay really? Yeah, yeah. Somebody would be like, I like being a slave. There's something he gets paid for it though. A paid slave. You heard a wage slave. You heard the term okay. wage slave. I think we're getting away from the verse. Okay, but okay, so okay, so that was wrong. What? What they did? The Bible is wrong. No, not Bible. No, no. I, I'm trying to understand. So here it says, if you beat your servant and they live a day, there's no punishment because he's your property. Right. You don't think it's wrong? Back in the day, it wasn't. Who, who, who established it's the wrong or Who established the, the, the laws back then? God, I guess. Right? Oh, there you go. So you feel this is the law of God, that if you beat your slave and he lives a day, it's go. okay because he's your property. I can't hear you. Who made, who made the laws? I don't believe this is the law of God. That's why I don't believe this is the book of God. So then, so then you're saying that... Allah, but this is fabricated. I made a mistake. No, I don't. Yeah, that's right. Let me tell you why. This, this is not the book of Allah. Allah the to the Jews. Come, come Allah, talk to me. Uh, Allah, I will answer you. I'm answering the question. Did I will answer you. The sure. The Can I answer? Answer. Answer. You let me answer. answer. All right. Allah gave the Torah to Musa, to Moses. This is not the Torah. Allah gave the Injil to Isa. This is not the Injil. These are the words of men that have been attributed to God incorrectly we have, right, here's my answer we have the dead sea scrolls which verify excellent the do you know we the dead sea scrolls history. yes the I dead have sea scrolls I today have the dead sea scroll bible so, yes, do I. so do i listen so take the old testament here and look at the dead sea scroll and see all the inconsistencies so which one is the torah no so you believe that god ordained that you beat your slave and he lives a day he has no punishment because he's your property that's the way it was back then, wasn't it? So you believe that's okay back then? No. So I, God did something wrong? No, no. Which yeah. one is it? <laughs> God didn't punish anybody. So a human being punished somebody, okay. didn't they? No, didn't no, they? but this is the laws of God, right? Okay, so if that's so the you believe God. this is the law of God. This is correct, that if you beat a slave and they live a day, the it's it okay because yeah. that's your property. You know, really, you believe right. that? Yeah, sure. Do you really believe yeah. that? Because God... That's, that's pretty because disturbing. Hey. We can, am I am I God's counselor? No. You're not. No. Yeah. I'm not. Neither so are, here, neither are you. In First Samuel, chat. Where are you going? I'm putting stuff away. Uh -huh. you, First I Samuel, you had one chat. Now you keep. Well, I, 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 I got a lot of questions. I didn't tell him you had one oh, question. Me, I'm not here to you're, answer a lot you're, of you're, questions. You're 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 here to represent Christianity, right? I do represent. Okay, Christianity. Okay, so I want to ask you about the Bible. Yeah, you're going to the Old Testament. Okay. I'll go in the New Testament. Let's go in the New Testament. Excellent. How you do like you, the New Testament? I, I do. Who is the father of Joseph? Is God? Uh, I don't see Jesus saying I'm God, but that's sure, a whole different issue. Before Abraham was, I am. Didn't but he th say that? That he doesn't mean, that, that. that is not the same as saying I'm God, but that's okay. Yes, it is. How did because Judas die? People, How did Judas die? Uh, Judas. Yeah. He hung himself. Okay. And then the rope broke. What is the rope breaking? And another scripture. Okay, so let's look at it. I have the scriptures here. Where are you going? I'm right over here. All right. I'm going to find that scripture that he said the rope broken. So, so here, here we have Matthew. Let me, let me, let me, let me read, let me read the scripture. Okay. In Matthew it says uh, that I have 
sin by betraying the innocent blood. And they said that, what is he to you? He threw down the pieces of silver, right. departed the temple. He threw the money away sure. and hanged himself. So what did okay. he do with the money? He threw it back to the priest. And then what did he do? He hanged himself. Okay. In Acts now it says, now this man purchased a field of the wages of inequity. So what did he do with the money here? He threw it to the priest. No, that's not what it says. It says he purchased a field. The Look, read it. Because no, no, no. The money was used this to buy man, no, no, no. The because priest. it says, not the scripture, also says the priest bought the field. Let me explain. This <laughs> man purchased. <laughs> twisted, twisted. Read it. Read, you're I twisting. No, read. I'm not twisted. Th now, so this just... man, not the priest, this man purchased a field with the wages. He, because this the priest man. Took no, the no, money. no. Yes, See, you're twisting did. now. No, you're because twisting. Read, read you're the scripture. Twisted. Read you the scripture. Read the scripture. I'm reading it. This man. Where did it say the priest brought it? Where did it say the priest bought it? I don't know offhand. Yeah. I don't know no, offhand. No, but, but I can read. find it. Now, this man purchased the field in this verse here. This man, not the priest. He did. Okay, and then how did he die? And falling headlong. Right. No rope. The, the rope no, no, where, where's the rope? Where, where's the rope? No, 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 no. What's right. headlong? Let me answer. Go ahead. Don't interrupt me. I didn't interrupt you. Be Go ahead. I am. When he hang himself, mm -hmm. the rope broke. And Where is that? There's no breaking rope assumed. here. You're making it up. No, I'm not. You're assuming. You just said it's assumed. No, no, no. Earlier you said it's in scripture. Look now it. you're saying it's assumed. It. Where is the scripture of the rope breaking? That's all I'm asking. He fell, right? So no. Nope. If he hung himself, okay, so now. if he hung himself, I'll let you finish. I, I, I climbed down a, when I was young. Okay. I had a you hung yourself? Fort. No. <laughs> when I was young, uh -huh. I had a tree fort. Okay. Okay. My brother took the ladder away. Okay. I had a rope. I climbed down the rope. The rope okay. broke. It okay. does happen. How did you fall? I fell right down to the ground because mm -hmm. of gravity. Exactly. <laughs> Not headlong. You just no. caught yourself. Now, what does headlong mean? What does he, headlong he mean? Headlong. Head first. head first. Head first. So when you said by gravity you fell straight down, that means you didn't fall headlong. Yeah. Right Thank on. you. Yeah. You you just you just you just corrected it for me thank you when you fell from the rope you fell straight down because of gravity if a rope breaks you would not fall headlong when you're falling headlong you're in motion your head goes ahead this verse has nothing about hanging himself it has nothing about a rope breaking or a branch breaking it says he bought a piece of land with that money and falling headlong motion his entrails gushed out. That's how he dies. How many you Qur know. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You ask me a question. Go ahead. How many Qurans are there? One. No, there's two. There's Show two. me the second Quran. Just... You see how you jump from the Bible? Because <laughs> you couldn't answer the Bible. Now you want to go to the Quran. Okay. Answer the Bible first. I'll answer you the Quran. I told you. I didn't have a you, don't, in you don't like that because you. But it's say. not in the scripture. You made that. You it's you, you, you said there's a scripture. You said it on video. It's in scripture. But Okay. And then the rope broke. What is the rope breaking? And another scripture. Okay, so let's look at it. But there is no such scripture. The different Arabic versions of the Quran. Answer. All right, I like this. Go ahead. What, what, what website is, are you looking at? You just Googled it, seriously? Sure. Islamic scholars report up to Who, 50 what, what, different what versions. Website, what website is that? Well, I'm you're, on Google. I'm on Google. No, no, no. You're, on, you're reading a website called Answering Islam. Islam. It's a Christian fundamentalist, Islamophobe website you're quoting to me no from. No one accepts all these as authentic. They are judged. Wasu. You can't answer the Bible. So now you're Googling ah. Islamophobic website. It's called Answering Islam. It's an anti-Islam website. You know better than that. Let me explain the different Quran thing to you. Let me, I'm, I'm talking. Are you listening? Thank you. Different the Quran thing. was revealed from Allah to the Prophet, peace no, be upon him. Can I finish? Okay. Like uh, earlier you said, okay. so let me finish. You said Allah. The Quran was revealed from Allah to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on a harf. You know what a harf is? No, tell me. You don't. Let me tell you. It's a style of recitation. Okay. okay? In mutawatir, authentically established narrations, the Prophet Sallallahu asked Allah to reveal it in another style of recitation. In another what? Style, another harf. And we know this, we study this. Don't think you guys just came up with this. Okay. Then it was revealed in a second half until a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh. Sab'a ahruf. These are styles all from Allah. All of those can be recited from one Quran that's called the Mustaf of Uthman. Do you know what that is? No. And you no. can Google it then. That's so don't, don't look up Islamophobic websites though. If you're going to Google, at least research it properly. There is one Quran 
Are you listening? Are you? One Quran. One Quran. Quran. From that Mus'haf, there is no line to, for the vowels. No Fatha, Kasra, Dhamma. You know what that is? That's how you elongate, right? From that Mus'haf, Uthman, there are different styles of recitation. All from one Quran. They're not different Qurans. For example, in England, they stretch things differently than us, right? Okay. And, then and here in America, we have a different accent. So if I read the same book, I can read in the British accent, Australian accent, Canadian accent, American accent, Boston accent, California, right? But one same book. So one Quran, Mus'af Uthman, can be recited in different ways. This is your ignorance that you think no, about this. Ignorance. But now I've clarified that for you. Okay, you said Allah revealed and talked to Muhammad. Allah right? revealed the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. An angel. I thought it was an angel. Sure. Let it me. Wasn't Allah. Let me tell you. Was it an angel or? Let me was tell you. Allah? I got you, bro. You, you, this is the best you got. <laughs> I'm just saying. You, I got you. you. Said I Allah. got you. Yeah. Allah revealed it through many ways. One of them is direct revelation, like when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam went on Isra al Mi'raj, talked to Allah. One of them through dreams the Prophet ﷺ had. One of them to the Prophet, to the angel Jibra'il, the one that used to bring the message to Jesus and Moses and Abraham, brought the message from Allah to the Prophet ﷺ. But God himself spoke to Jesus. We God, know this is God that, Allah that, himself that, spoke that, to that, Muhammad ﷺ. Now, now we also know the scriptures say that Satan himself can disguise himself as an what angel. What scripture? Yes, that is uh, 2 Corinthians. You, uh, so you're talking about the Bible? Yeah. I don't even believe in this. This is not the word of God. You don't, you don't think this is the word of God? I do not believe. Saying, uh, I do not believe oh, the word so, of God. So yeah. Let me let me show you. Word. No, no, Allah, Allah didn't Allah, reveal this. Yes, he you you keep Jesus. saying yes, this. He I, I told. He did hey, not. Yes, he did. In Jesus, you you are insulting God. Look, you are insulting God. In Jesus, you are insulting God. You are insulting God. You can argue. You can defend your Bible and answer the Quran question. That's why you're getting loud. You're getting loud because you don't have an answer. This is the word of God. How did you decide? Who's the father of Joseph? Which Joseph? <laughs> the, the husband the of Mary. Joseph. How many Josephs are we talking about? Okay. The husband his, of Mary. His, his, his uh, genealogy is, is there in the Bible. Okay, so who's the father of Joseph? I, I, I don't know. know. I read off the hand. Uh, I'd have to look at the. Let's look at it right now. But what does it matter? It shows you this is not the Word of God. It is the word of God. Okay, let's look at it together. Preserved by God. Right, preserved with God, great. Preserved by okay, God. Okay, here's Matthew. Yes, here's okay. Matthew. And Jacob begotten Joseph, the husband of Mary. With Joseph, the husband of Mary, okay. to whom was born. So who's the father of Joseph? Jacob. Excellent. Same Bible. And then Jesus himself began the ministry about 30 years of age. The son of Joseph, the son of Heli. Who's the father of Joseph, Heli or Jacob? Jacob. It says Heli. And it says Jacob. Admit it. Now, now admit it. Admit it. I see what it says there. Read. read. It, this says, you're here, this is not like an average Christian. You're here representing Christianity. And he um, wasn't Jacob also called Heli or the son of? No. Look I, right here! I'll find the answer. Look right here! Okay, okay find you'll find it? I will find next the week? Yes, next week. Then we'll I'll talk next week. Answer. Okay, the son of Eli. But if, but if you find that this has I been corrupted, no, if you find corrupted. out that there are errors, yes. you will, you, will you leave you Christianity can't. then? No. Because Even I if know you find out there are errors, you won't. How about in the Quran? There's there there are no errors. Yes, sir, Show me one. Find us errors, we will come right now. Go ahead. <laughs> Our test is from Allah. Did you get that from us? Yes, I did. <laughs> 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 what did I miss? <laughs> You're missing Fun conversation. Okay. I thought it was a conversation. I didn't hear any yelling so far. I couldn't hear yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Excellent. This is Juz, as I say that right? Juz. Juz. 21. 
Mm. The Byzantines have been defeated in the nearest Excellent. land, but they, after the defeat, will overcome within three to nine years. To Excellent. It took 13 years. It okay. took 13, it's historical. I got you. I got you. Where did you get it took 13 years? History. Which history book? History of ancient. Which history book? Where did you get this idea? From history. So in Tabari, so let me let me explain in it to you. Secular know, right? history. I got okay. you. Relax. Okay. Relax. Take a deep breath. It's a conversation. Yes, it is. Don't get worked up, bro. Yes, it is. The Byzantines have been defeated. And in the nearest land, which land is this? I don't know what you You don't know, right? I you haven't really looked into this, right? Okay, I got you. But I know but they're they, fighting the Romans. Oh, they're fighting the Romans. I got you, I got you. They're fighting the Romans. Look, look, let me explain something, okay? We study this. I have hey, studied fine, the whole fine, Quran, letter fine. by letter, word okay, by word. Fine. Okay? And they, uh, and they, after the defeat, will come back within the three to nine years. Now, if you get any history book of Roman and Persian battles, for example, and I'll give you actual history books, At-Tabari, right? Which discusses, or Al-Bidaya wa Nihaya ibn Kathir, or Siyar Alam Nabala. That is exactly, that's why this is one of the miracles of the Prophet, and one of the miracles of the Quran, that this is when it happened. Now I ask you, which history book did you get 13 from? It I named secular, you mine. I don't know, it was a what secular. Book? What I secular book? It was a book? secular history okay, book. Can you bring the book? I'd have to find it. So you haven't actually read the book? Yes. Did I you read, actually read the book yes. or you just Googled it? No. You read the book? Yes. What book? By what it's author? It's a history book. I don't... Which I battle? What was the name of the battle? You don't know any of those. So how did you assume this is it? Because we look into that. Okay. But I did as and well. That was wrong. Let me, it was a let false me, prophecy. That, that is incorrect. That prophecy it is actually is a real. miracle of the Quran. Read Tafsir al-Tabari, read Tariq al-Tabari, read Siyar Alam al nubala read Bidayah wa Nihaya. No, those are the history those. books. You don't want to read those, you just want to... <laughs> I don't read the Quran because I know that Jesus You don't read Christ. the Quran, that's how you're not guided. That's the only contradiction you found? That's not even a contradiction. No, there's another contradiction. <laughs> Go ahead. There's Let's another contradiction. Go ahead. No, no, we're not giving him nothing until you prove it. <laughs> we hey, study these hey, in Tabari. No, this is one of the good. miracles. Go ahead. Yep. <laughs> I mean, 20 minutes ago, you're telling me you don't know what the Bible's saying. Well, one contradiction I found in this, sure. in this Quran that Mark gave me, where's Go ahead. Mark is uh, Allah is not mentioned in it. Allah is not mentioned in the Quran? No. Okay, let me show it to you. <laughs> no, go ahead. Find it. So there's no Allah mentioned in here? Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 no. Wherever... You just said Allah is not mentioned in it. So if I show you the word Allah... Oh, you mean then, like, if it, is it in there once? It's, it's no, no, it's all over verse. the Qur'an. Bismillah. What is Bismillah? This is English. <laughs> I know, but what does it say, Bismillah? I have no idea what you It says, Allah. in the name of Allah. Allah. In the name of Allah. Qul Allah. What is that? But the blue one says, that's in English, says Allah. This one says sure. God. Everywhere. So, that's sure, just, well, that's, that's a translation. translation. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a translation. <laughs> Look, the Quran was revealed in Arabic, right? I think Allah the, would be upset that you're kind that of hiding his name. So we, we're not, no, no, okay, let everybody me, knows that you follow the name of Allah. Sure. Okay. So why would you would put you in an English God? translation? I mean, you, 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 you really, <laughs> first thing, first thing. That's a contradiction that is translated whether into God or the word Allah. That's the contradiction no, you came up with? Come on. Give us something better. Come on. Give us something better. Wait, wait, go ahead. No, I have oh, okay. Let's okay. Go ahead. I'm now, ready. You know what? I call Four him God, God too. Years. So that Before means you're acknowledging that my God. Okay, okay. How do, Noah. How do Christian Arabs and the flood. say God? Okay. Wait, what did I say? He had, he had three sons Christian and their sons were married. Where did you get that information from? The Bible. Right. Which is incorrect, so we're not even going there. Okay. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. It's incorrect. It's not historically correct. Yes. It's been changed. Let me ask you something. And it sailed to the waves, the ark. Yeah. So your God. And, the waves, his name is and God. Noah called to his son, and who was So let me army. let me explain it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, which one of you speaking? Come aboard with us, and oh, be not with the deceivers. Guys. Yes. He said, I will take refuge on the mountain to protect me from the water. Noah said, There's no protection today from the decree of Allah except for whom He gives mercy. So and true. The waves came between them, and He was among the drowned. So Noah okay. lost one of his three sons. Okay. That's now, let wrong. me let me explain it. Let me explain it. Take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, but I'm just saying. If you are saying that that does not meet the the account in the corrupted Bible it's that you corrupted. have, let me finish. Then that's not a contradiction. 
right? That's like me saying that something in the Quran doesn't meet the Bible is a contradiction. It's not a contradiction. A contradiction. Look, look, that you know the Dead Sea Scroll has differences. I have it as well from the Old Testament even that you have, and that doesn't even get into the New Testament. When you see contradiction, let me show you what a contradiction looks like so you can understand, right? Within the Bible itself, okay? You still didn't even get who is Joseph's father, but that's all different thing, right? So let me show it to you now. Second Samuel, when Job gave the sum of the number of the people to the king, and there was in Israel 800,000 valiant men who drew the sword, and the men of Judah were 500,000. So how many? 800,000 of Israel, 500 of Judah, right? Now, when you go in the same Bible here in First Chronicles, Chronicles, when right. Job gave the sum of the number of the people to David, came King David, same, all Israel has was 1,100,000. Okay. From 800,000 to 101 million thousand. And, the, and those who drew the sword from Judah were 470,000 men. So it went from 800,000 right. to 1.1 million, right. from 500,000 right. to 400 and right. Because what? those were foot soldiers. And then the Where is that? You're just making this up. No, Show us scripture. You I'll see the same back. joke. I'll, You'll I'll get back to me you. next week. We'll, get back to you. Yeah. we'll talk to you next week. We'll check it out. All right. Good. Have a great I, I, day. I looked into that. You looked into that? Good. Yeah. Look, look into the other ones too then, right? The father of Joseph. What the father of Joseph? Which verse is that again? It's Joseph in the first, uh, right when you begin Matthew. Matthew, I know that, I know that one. Yeah, For right in Matthew one. 16. Yes. Okay. Where and then it? in Luke. Hmm? Luke. Luke 23. 23. He says, All right. Jesus is the son of, it wasn't Joseph, it was somebody else. Joseph, no, no, no. It was, let me explain it though. Maybe you know, right? Who is Joseph's father? You study the Bible, right? It's supposed Jacob. Yeah. I assume. Oh, in the genealogy. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, um, the other verse, what, which chapter? Let, let me show Luke, it to you. Luke. Okay. Luke. But then you ask your question. My Some question was. Oh, I got you. Hold on. Let me, let, you want me to show this to you or no? Yeah. You're not sure. interested in the Bible. Okay. okay. So Jacob begotten Joseph. So who's the father of Joseph? Okay. It says Jacob. Who's the father? It says Jacob or it is Jacob? Uh, you know, I will have to research that so, one too. What does the Bible say? Uh, it says that, yeah, begat Joseph. So maybe he was another guy named Jacob, right? Another guy that had a son named Joseph that was married but, to Mary? But Joseph... Hold on. He's the husband of Mary, Jacob right? Jacob came way before Joseph. So did. the Bible is wrong then? No, I'll look into it. <laughs> no, it's another guy named Jacob. Another guy named Jacob. Yeah. Okay. Who was so, who, who, I mean, how many, who was Jacob's dad? Jacob's who who was Jacob's right dad then? Huh? Who was Jacob's dad? Jacob's dad yeah. was uh, uh, Isaac. Isaac. Right. It is Matan begotten Job, jo Jacob. Matan. Okay. But you just said Isaac was Jacob's dad. Wait. Matan. Is, that what it said? is it not a different Jacob? Uh, no, because the same Jacob that's got the same Joseph that's married to Mary. But other than so, so, so you, you saw that. That's a contradiction, the, right? The, that's a contradiction, the, right? The, Tell me, it's a contradiction. Other than the, just be honest with me. But I mean, other than this, you're okay with everything else in the Bible. Oh no, no, no! This just shows. You, you look at this. You, you look at this. You look at this. So you can't answer this, right? I can't. Okay, actually, good. Yeah. Just want to be clear on that. So anyway. Um, Jesus as a baby talks, mm -hmm. yes. okay, and he says, peace be upon me, mm -hmm. the day I was born, yes. the day I died, yes. and the day I will be raised back to life. True. But you said that Jesus wasn't crucified, he was oh. just taken up to heaven. Sure, I so got he you. he never died. Let me explain this. Okay, okay? I want to know. Allah said in the Quran, Kullu mawt. every soul shall taste death. Jesus, peace and blessing, came to the earth. He was taken back to Allah. He will come back and he will die and he will be he resurrected. Will, he will die. He will die. No, no, no. He, he, he didn't say already dead. Where does it say he did? He says, the day I will die. He just says, the day I die. Yes, the day he will in the future. When he, has he already resurrected? Because that's what it says there too. This Jesus is your contradiction? Christ. Seriously? No, that's and your contradiction? That, hey, that's you guys are easy. Let me explain this. Let me explain. This. Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. Jesus will not judge me. The Lord of Jesus will judge me. The Allah that, that Jesus prayed to. Who did he pray to? 
Who did Jesus put his head down to? That father that you call the father, that is Allah. That is God who will judge Jesus, who will judge Muhammad, who will judge me, who will judge all of mankind. Whether you believe it or not. I don't believe in the Trinity. And you know that it's not true. There is one, one God, not three, not two, one God. Because when in Genesis, when they... How does the one God pray to himself? If you he pray to somebody else, remember, is that somebody he else? Left heaven, he I, I'm himself. atheist, sorry. He it's okay, it doesn't matter if you're atheist. When Jesus if you, left heaven, if you ask him for help, no, does I that... No, I wouldn't know. I'm not right. the right person to ask. All right, so if you ask somebody for help, are those two people or the same person? Or does God know everything? I mean, let's just be logical Absolutely. about but listen, Does God know everything? Yes. But, but Jesus doesn't know the hour, so how yes, could he, he be God? Yes, he does. He knows the hour. Sure he does. I'll tell you you guys haven't even read the Bible, man. That you part, guys, that part you, you got, you got. That part you don't have to open up. I got you. We know that. We know the okay. verse. There no. are offices. Different but offices. off that day, His the hour, right. no one knows, they not even the right. angels in heaven, right. nor the Son, but only the Father. You said he does know. He does know. He doesn't know. He just says he doesn't know. <laughs> I have an answer for that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. First of all, when Jesus left heaven, he humbled himself. He became a man. Are you listening? I'm listening. He became a man. He humbled himself. He, humbled himself. he, humbled I, he said he became a man after that, right? So I am listening. Right. Yeah. He so he was so no longer God. He was God. But he, was he just said he humbled himself, became a man, sure. so he was no longer God. He's, He's still God. God. But he doesn't know. If he doesn't know, and God knows everything, so he was no longer God I then. Give me an answer, a chance to answer. Uh, you did. No, I didn't answer. Okay, go ahead. You just keep interrupting. I'm I, listening. I think all you guys like to do is I'm, just I'm listening. Okay. So he humbled himself. All right. So now his office is that as a man, but he's still God. Okay. Because when he died, he's going back there. Now the Holy Spirit came upon him, but he also had a different office. Office of king, pr uh, priest, prophet, and uh, God. Okay. So he's got those offices that's that that's what he is okay not just a prophet i know you just believe he's just a prophet okay and i i hear what you're saying but he knows everything because as a man he gave up that uh connection so so yeah he wasn't going to say hey i'm coming back on let's say july 21st or something no because everybody would then people would do whatever they're going to do and then repent and because they know he's coming back right so but he knows come but he leave that he left that to God, his father, to determine, okay? So... Can I respond now? Go ahead. I listen to you respectfully, right. right? Now, so if you're saying God knows everything, yes. and when Jesus was on the earth, yes. he didn't know the hour, that means by your definition, he cannot be God because he God be knows everything. And if he doesn't know something, that means the father above, according to you, knows something Jesus doesn't, so he knows more than Jesus. That means he was not God. God knows everything. Yes. If you don't know something, by definition then, you are not God. He knows it. He Simple. Knows, uh, but he, he, he knew it, and then he forgot he it. Okay, but if you forget it, then you're no longer God. Yeah, he's not anymore. Thank you. Have a good day.